welcome back to Chicago Cars Direct. Today we're going to spend some time with a 2006 Infiniti G35 Coupe. Under the hood of the G35 Coupe, you're going to find the familiar 3.5 liter V6 engine. Now, in this trim, this makes 280 horsepower. Uh, as you can see on the hood here, it says Advanced Front Midship uh, FM. They call us the FM platform. They share this with a lot of uh, a lot of different builders. I'm sorry, a lot of different models throughout the Nissan and the Infiniti range, but uh, really a great engine. Obviously, the reason they stuck with it. Uh, this is mated to the optional five-speed automatic transmission, which is in turn wrapped to the rear wheels. But this does have the uh, sport package, which is these 19-inch wheels. Uh, you also have the spoiler aero kit and uh, a lot of great interior options. But the car is in all original condition. We did sell this car to a great client of ours, and they've actually traded it back to us for an 07 with the six-speed model, uh, with the six-speed manual. They just wanted the stick shift, but essentially bought the same car. Uh, so obviously they were fans of it. We're fans of these because we sell a lot of them, but let's walk around it because it really is an exceptional. We'll take a walk around just to exemplify the condition here. Uh, it's a black paint car. Uh, you do have some stone chips across the front. You know, there's really no getting past those. Um, got a couple across the front of the hood here, but it's all in original condition. I think that's the one thing I really want to stress is that this is all factory original. Uh, the paint looks great, uh, aside from where there are a handful of stone chips. Uh, you do have a Xenon headlamp up here. And then coming around to the side, as I mentioned, these 19-inch wheels. Uh, this is a 19-inch with a Bridgestone Potenza tire on it. Uh, the size on the front is a 225-40R19. But uh, really excellent condition on the wheel. You can see the forged stamp there, one-piece stamp forged. But look at the reflection down the driver's side. That's the thing I love about when we showcase these black cars is it'll really tell you the condition of the car because you can see the reflection in the paint so much better in camera. Uh, on the rear here, we got a 245-40R19. And also the Bridgestone Potenza run flat tire. Of course, you can see the forge there. But we'll walk around the back. Uh, when we sold the car originally, it did have the badges on it. For some reason, there's a phenomenon that when these people take the Infiniti and G35 badges off, um, I don't really know why. Uh, the gentleman that bought this originally took them off. Well, bought them from us and took it off. And subsequently took the ones off the other one. I have the letters. We can order some new ones if that's needed. Uh, so I figured I'd leave them off for the the next owner, but uh, look at that passenger side. Wheels, tires, panels, everything's perfect. This is a comfort access car, so I do have the Infinity key in my pocket here. As long as I have that on me, I can access any of the doors. Just hit that button right there, you can hear the beep. Uh, pops right up, but you can see you got a decent sized trunk here. Uh, also a set of uh, factory mats, which are in excellent condition. Uh, the full set, front and rears. Uh, I also have in here the cargo mat and the Infinity first aid kit, which follows the car. A lot of good stuff there. It's like you can play doctor on your way to uh, wherever it is that you're going. How about that? Below here, spare tire. Since I have the Comfort Access key on me, to get in the car is really, really simple. Once again, I have it in my pocket. It's locked right now, can't get in. It's a small button right here on the door. Hit it once, it's gonna unlock the driver's door. Hit it again, it unlocks both sides. In order for me to start it, I just jump in, turn the uh, small key fob here, that's it. Look across the front seats. Uh, this car really does have very, very minimal wear. It's just a little tiny bit of wear on the bolster here. You have a hard time getting away with that uh, or without that uh, happening. But that is really all I can show you. It's a non-smoker's car, smells brand new inside. But uh, great seating position. Uh, it's definitely a sportier seat. You've got a... Uh, some tuck bolsters here. They'll actually kind of hug you on the side there, but uh, power tilt and telescope steering wheel. The entire gauge cluster moves with it too. Pretty unique for these cars. Uh, over here, you're gonna find the switch for the vehicle dynamic control, VDC. That's your stability and traction. And you do have an automatic setting for the Xenon headlamps up here. It's a great seating position and with the small diameter steering wheel, it feels very sporty. Uh, this is very re reminiscent to me and you can tell they targeted the BMW 3 Series because it's probably the most, uh, it's the closest uh, competitor I could really, really see. Um, granted, you've got a, a lot of functionality in this car that you're going to see at that level. Uh, Multi-function steering wheel, again, power tilt and telescope uh, with the orange backlit gauges there. Uh, this is actually a readout for the climate control. So you can actually see you got dual zone there. Uh, if I wanted to dial it up just for my side uh, or just the passenger, you can do that. 
but uh, real simple to control. A little bit extra storage right above there, a little storage pocket. Below the climate control, you'll find the the Bose six disc in dash CD player here. Uh, just six feet right in there. You can see you do have Sirius satellite radio built in here as well. Uh, that pairs to the program, but it is through here. And you can see the little radio antenna on top that takes care of that. Um, this is an automatic. It's a five speed automatic. They put this in, it's a uh, it's like a select shift, I guess you could call it. Uh, pull back to downshift, push forward to upshift uh, to go as a manual, but otherwise just throw it in park uh, and you're good to go. Heated seats for both front occupants, as well as uh, power seats on both sides. You can see right on the inboard part of the seat here. You can see these seats here again, very sporty. Power position here for the uh, passenger as well. Then if you look right above my head, I've got the factory power moonroof right above me. We're out on a kind of gloomy Chicago day in the G35 Coupe. And I'm really enjoying this car, 31,000 mile example. Uh, it's virtually uh, loaded with all the options. It doesn't have the navigation system, which uh, normally resides here, but you know, for most people, that's not an issue. Uh, and it does add to the cost of the car because it'll add at least a thousand bucks to resale, if not more. So for people that don't need it, it's not worth it. But uh, very comfortable. It's an excellent daily driver. Uh, obviously the rear drive setup is uh, very sporting in nature. The steering is ultra precise. Uh, this is the same platform that the Nissan 350Z is based off of, which is a very, very sporty car. Um, but the reason they use this platform is it's very solid. You can see the speed bumps there. Nice and solid acceleration. There's a lot of torque in this V6 engine and it comes down nice. Brakes feel great, no fade, no pulse. I feel that will hit that a little harder there. Wow, woohoo! There we go, now we're moving. Well, we're doing what this car does well, uh, cruising on the highway. Uh, we're going, you know, highway speeds and it's quiet, it's comfy. Uh, it's still very agile, it's still very sharp, it's quick to move, uh, just laying into it a little bit. You can feel the torque kind of pull you back because the engine is a torquey engine. But you know, you're spinning about 2,500 RPMs on the highway. It's a really nice car, very solid, very easy to drive. Climbing's dead straight and brakes come down very, very nice. And if I wanted to, I can go into the manual shift mode here. Uh, just drop me into fourth there, and you can go down to third. It'll blip the throttle for me, I don't even have to do it. And you got immediate access to the thrust this engine can provide. But just put it back in drive and it's a nice relaxed cruiser. Even with these little uh, thin, low profile tires, they've engineered the car because uh, it's such a solid platform. You don't really feel any of the bumps, even though there's so little uh, cushion area. I think it says a lot about these cars, and it's a remarkable value if you really compare item for item what you get out of BMW or Mercedes in the same class. I mean, heck, I'm going to say it, this car is better than any Mercedes CLK out there. Uh, the 3 Series does give it a run, but I would buy this car over a CLK any day. Not to say that's a bad car, and it's just not for me. I would take the G35, much sportier, uh, much more competent, and it actually feels just as solid, if not more solid, than the Mercedes-Benz. Yep, I said it. As always, here we go. than any other individual model. Uh, it's not just so much that we know them that well, it's just that we really recognize the market value of these cars. And it represents unbelievable value when you consider what it takes to get in here. You've got virtually every, amen every amenity imaginable. The car's in excellent shape. It was sold by us to the second owner. Now you'll be going to the third, but you know, the vote of confidence is they really did pick up a new 07, uh, which is identical, literally, to this car. It just has a stick shift, so uh, big fans of the car just want a little bit of a change. Uh, I've got a copy of the uh, Carfax Vehicle History Report here. Uh, it does show a two-owner car. Obviously, we sold it to the second owner, uh, so it's coming back. But uh, beyond that, obviously, it had to be clean when we bought it the first time. Uh, they are great clients of ours, so we know them well, and uh, they take great care of their cars. They really do. Um, I also have the Infinity uh, History here. You've got the four-year, 60,000-mile warranty with Infinity That runs you through May 31st, 2010, so you got a good chunk left there. But it's equipped with Sirius Satellite Radio, Premium Package, Aero Package, Sport Tune Suspension, 
Space Saver Spare. But check out this car on our website. You're gonna find a bunch of pictures at chicagocarsdirect.com. And when you're done with that, check out our YouTube channel. You'll find us at youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for spending some time with us in this stunning G35 coupe. We'll see you next time.